We all know when we're hitting an iron shot, we want to take a divot. But there's huge divots, there's little divots, there's divots before the ball, there's divots after the ball, all kinds of things. But also you gotta understand how to practice that. And I've got a great drill for you I'm gonna share here at the end. So the first thing you gotta understand, when you're hitting iron shots, th the size of the divot, okay, and the depth of the divot have a lot to do with your golf swing. Okay, no question about that. But they also have a lot to do with just the conditions. All right, the conditions of the turf. If it's been raining or it's really soft and you make a swing, you're probably gonna take a bigger and thicker divot than if it's bone dry and hasn't rained in months, all right? Seems like common sense, but a lot of people don't think about that. And the reason they don't think about that, and you gotta ask yourself this, where do you typically see your most golf? All right, put that in the comments. Where do you typically see your most golf? Well, for most of you, for most golfers, it's on TV, right? They watch the PGA, the LPGA, all the great tours and things that we have out there. Well, bear in mind that the courses that these golfers are playing, they are in pristine condition. They are primed for that one week when the best 144 players in the world arrive at their golf course. So they're in these great, these great conditions. So they're gonna naturally take a little bit bigger divots because the fairways are super short and they're really maintained well. Now, I don't know where you play golf, what type of country club or municipal. Matter of fact, I'd be curious to know, how many of you played a country club? How many of you played a municipal? But your course conditions are probably not the same as you see on TV. So just be aware of that particular situation. So where should the divot take place? Well, let's talk about that. Now, I've, I've been hitting a few shots this morning. We've been shooting some video here and getting some great content out. We love you. Hey, if you haven't already, be, do me a favor. Just subscribe to the channel, right? We need some help. Tell people about US Golf TV. We love hearing from you. Ring the bell so you get the updates when we put out a new video. Do me a favor and help me out, would you? All right. now. We've been shooting some video, I got some different divots here. I got a pretty big one here, kind of a smaller one there. But what you really want is you want the divot to start at the middle of the ball and work forward. Okay, so let me just show you. So if, if I hit a shot and I keep my weight back, okay, I took a divot, but it was way back here. That's no good. You could tell by the sound of it, all right? If I get my weight going more forward, okay, did you hear the difference? All right, did you hear that? I did, we just did a video on, on contact and the sound of it. That divot, although it was thinner, was in the right spot, so it was a good divot. All right, so you want, I think, a relatively thin divot for most golfers based on your course conditions that like we just discussed, but more importantly, you want that divot to start in the middle of the ball and work forward. So, you might be thinking to yourself, that's great, Todd. What the heck am I supposed to do with that? <laughs> How does that help me? Well, let me show you. That's why you're here. That's why you follow us at US Golf TV. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my alignment rod here and I'm just gonna make a line, okay, in the grass. This is what I did with one of my recent students, actually one of my high school students. She was struggling with taking a little bit of a divot. We wanted to work on contact. So this is the drill I did with her. Works for all golfers. So what I'm gonna do is I got that line right there, just made it. You could do it with your, you know, your club like that too, doesn't matter. But I want you to get sitting there and you're gonna first of all, make a very slow and short swing, okay? And all you're gonna do is make sure that the club hits the ground in front of that line. See that little swing right there? That's all I'm doing. Now I'm not thinking about how I'm doing it. I'm not trying to do something. I'm just simply asking my brain to say, hey, let's just get the club to hit in front of that. Boom, simple, right? Okay, now I've got it, I'm gonna get a little longer. There it is, a little longer. Didn't get it that time, there we go. Until I can eventually get up to more of a full swing. Now, I take that feel, and now I'm just gonna take a golf ball, put it right in front of that line, and once again, this is the key point of this video here. I'm trying to just get the club to hit in front of, I'm not focused on the ball, Get a lot of questions about that. Where in the ball do I look at? All I'm gonna focus on is trying to get the club to hit the ground in front of that line. Right there, that'll do it. So there's lots of different divots. Be aware of the conditions, be aware of the location, and more importantly, use this little line drill right here to help you get your divot in the right spot and look the right way.